Next would be to develop multi-cloud and hybrid cloud strategies. So one of the things I think that we need to understand at the beginning of this journey, that this is not about migration to a single cloud provider. And everybody, you know, 15 years ago was focused on migrating to software as a service prevent vendors and then infrastructure as a service vendors like, uh, you know, Amazon Web Services, things like that. That's never going to be the end state. Because if you think about it, if we move to a single brand cloud provider, we're choosing to do things in under-optimized ways because we're not going to have the best of breed of every service that we need that are going to bring the most efficiencies back to the business. We're not going to have the best storage system, the best databases, the best application development technology, because those are going to be scattered across different platforms. And, you know, just by kind of, you know, rule, mathematical rules, we're going to end up with any number of platforms in a heterogeneous configuration that are going to provide us with these best of breed services. And that's something it would have been nice to kind of figure out early on, because I think everybody and obviously I was early money on on uh, hybrid cloud and, and multi cloud was focused on moving to a single cloud provider, having a cloud only mentality. We're going to move everything to AWS and we're going to move everything to AWS as fast as we can. That didn't work out very well. You know, here we are in 2025 and we're finding repatriation efforts. We're finding to figuring out the most effective and efficient and cost efficient platforms for AI. And that happens to be across many different platforms, not a single platform. So Focusing on heterogeneity, focusing on multi-cloud and hybrid cloud would have been at the top of my list.